Okay then everybody, this is the complete transformation process for the Core Class Studio Series Laser Beak Figure. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and just to be aware that sometimes these pop off, so if they do, I'll show you of course how it is, how easy it is to reconnect them. Right, let's start off with the whole chest piece then. So lift this up nice and carefully. Make sure that as you're doing this, the back is held out so it'll come over there. You need clearance, otherwise you'll have no look at all. Take the head, pop it in there, and then at the same time we can now fold the feet right under and back. Clip that into place, so fold it underneath, and then slot it down into place. You can then, if you want to, join the legs together with them tabs. And then this is, as I say, it's not really tricky, it's just, I don't know, maybe mine just keeps popping off. We'll see if I'm too heavy handed or not. What we need to do is we need to straighten the arm out, turn the orientation so the tire comes around, and then turn so the shoulder is facing in. Once you get the shoulder in, you need to turn the fist to the outside because this tab on the door is gonna fit on there. So I'm gonna repeat the same process on this side, turn the shoulder rotation in, orientation in, they've stayed in, perfect. They've stayed in, that's clipped into place, turn the orientation on the back of the fist around, and then what we're looking to do is you can see that the door will go into the fist there, and then the same on this side, now it's just a case of straightening and indeed clipping this all in. So fold that underneath, clip that underneath, and again, just compress it all together. Oh, there we go, alternate mode. Okay then, let's take him back to robot mode. So as we detach the doors, just hold the arms in place because you remember that little tab we've put in is inside the fist. So nice and careful. And again, don't be surprised if the arms do pop out at the shoulders because it's very common. What is with me doing this? I'm gonna unclip the back for now. So that means I can fold the legs down, fold the feet down. This is all still really tight. And then the whole of this back part as well will lift up slightly. And that just gives you enough movement there to bring the feet completely down. Make sure this back part here stays off. And here, carefully lift this, see what I mean? Popped straight off. Um, I'm gonna try and take the other one out without it doing that. I'm gonna hold it in place and then spin it out. Maybe that's the way that we've gotta do it. Um, let's just reattach this. As I say, it is super simple. It's not very difficult. You can see that just pops in there. I don't know if it's me being too heavy handed, I really don't know. I like to not think so, to be honest. Right, see, that one's just popped out as well. That's another reason why I do this video. So we just sort of, you know, you get to see as well that if it happens, maybe it's not you, or maybe it is a common thing. I've just folded the head out as I was talking. I'm bringing this around. Make sure the back does not get caught in there. There we go. Now you can bring that down. Correct the orientation of the arm at the shoulder. And of course, turn around what is the bicep. This is just caught in there, so I need to bring it out. And the same here, rotate this up. I'm trying to do it without popping the arm off. Turn it around at the shoulder, and there we go. There is laser beak. Let me just straighten his feet out in, oh, come on. Straighten you up in robot mode. That's better, there we go. Hope it helped anyway.